Hello Virgo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what karma is coming toward the person that hurt you when it comes to love. This will be the karma that person will be facing in 2021. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this could be the karma of the person that hurt you. Not your karma, but the karma of the person that hurt you. Okay, so Virgo, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for the karma of the person that hurt you, we have the death card here along with the ace of cups in reverse. Okay, so with this energy, there's going to be an ending for this person when it comes to a relationship. I feel as though this person will get involved with someone in the future. They're going to fall in love with that person and things are going to end between the two of them. Okay. I also feel as though your person is going to fall for someone that is not in love with them. So it's going to be an unrequited love. Okay. You also have the world card here along with the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. And this is your energy Virgo, whether you're a male or a female. So you are going to play a role in this person's karma, but this person's success is going to be affected. And it's all because they're not learning their lessons. Spirit has been trying to guide this person through their lessons, but they're refusing to learn, okay? And at some point, this person is going to want to come back together with you to make things work. But I feel as though a lot of you have actually closed out a cycle with this person or you will be. So you're no longer going to want to make things work with this person at some point. For some of you, you've already ended things and moved forward. For others of you, you might be having a hard time completely ending things, okay? But I do see you being very stable, Virgo. I do see a lot of success coming toward you and a lot of stability. This person's going to see that and they're going to be very affected by it. I also feel as though for a lot of you, you're going to come together with someone else. It's going to be a very successful connection and it's going to be this person's karma. You've been protected, okay? Even though you did go experience a lot of hurt with this person, spirit has been protecting you as much as possible without interfering to the point where you wouldn't learn your lesson, okay? But let's dive a little bit deeper. I do see that you really had a lot of love for this person, but... They were dealing with multiple third parties, okay, because neither of these people are you. So even though you were involved with this person, they were telling people that they were single. For some of you, the people that they were involved with they did not know about you. For some of you, they actually knew, okay? I do see this person wanting to renew things with you, wanting to make things work, but I see you guys are healing. So they're going to be coming back in, making you an offer after betraying you numerous times. I do see this person wanting to communicate with you that they're wanting stability or they're wanting their family back, especially if you have kids with them. If you do not have kids with this person, at some point, they're going to want to communicate with you that they want to make things work out. See, look. This person's going to come back wanting a relationship. I do see them giving you attention in the future. Okay, they're going to want growth. And at some point, this person might even ask you to marry them. Okay, but the problem here is that this person has a tendency to deal with third parties. And that's going to cause destruction and a lot of chaos within the relationship. For those of you that have ended things with this person, I feel as though that may be one of the reason things ended. It's because this person has a way of self-sabotaging connections, okay? Like, they're just not the type of person that's gonna give you a commitment. There will always be someone else involved. Spirit is saying to let the tower fall with this situation because things would not go anywhere with this person. I do see that if you stop communicating with them or if you ever stop communicating with them in the future, they're gonna come rushing back in out of nowhere with a lot of drama, okay? This person thinks about you a lot. They actually think about how good of a person you are. They do find you as very attractive. For some of you, I do see that this person, if you're able to have children, they would go as far as to trap you by having a child with you, okay? Whoever this person is, they're very promiscuous. I feel as though they're almost like a pervert. Okay, they have some very perverted ways about themselves. This is not for everybody, but for a few of you, your person may be like dealing with someone that's underage or they may have dealt with someone underage, like a minor at some point in time. 
But yeah, this person definitely broke your heart, but I do see them reaching out to you or taking some type of action to move forward. But this person's very toxic. And at this point, you guys are just wanting to, you're wanting better for yourself, okay? Also, whenever this person comes back trying to rekindle things with you, do keep in mind that they're coming in this devil energy. So they're coming in a very manipulative and toxic way. They don't want anyone else to have you. And this is the type of person that will do anything to get their way with you or say anything, okay? They're obsessed with you, okay? They are. They're obsessed. I do feel as though this person played a lot of games with you, Virgo. Um... They they lied a lot. This is someone that you can't trust at all. A lot of you know that. And so you have you have walked away from them or moved away. Some of you actually literally moved. OK, or you may be in the future for others of you. You're wanting to walk away from this person. Spirit is saying that once you completely walk away, there's going to be a lot of balance that comes into your life. I feel like this person didn't give you a lot of their emotion or I feel like you love them a lot and they also loved you, but they didn't show it by their actions. So I feel like the relationship was one sided. This person was very superficial when your emotions ran very deep. So if any of you are needing confirmation as far as whether you should walk away or whether you did the right thing, if you already have walked away, spirit is saying that was the right thing to do and you know it. OK, with that ace of swords. Whoever this person is, they secretly want to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. Like I said, they have a lot of love for you. But at the same time, they're just not going to give you what it is that you deserve. I feel as though when you were focused on this person, their focus was elsewhere. And now some of you aren't interested in what this person has to offer. You're not even interested in what they have to say if they were to express their love to you. You may not even be interested. Okay. And it's because this person was sneaking around on you and telling a lot of half truths. I do see that you guys have isolated yourself. Spirit is saying to continue to work on yourself spiritually, okay? So you're no longer giving this person a lot of your time and energy. Spirit is also saying to continue to think head above heart when it comes to them. This is a soulmate, but at the same time, this is not someone that was meant to be in your life long term. This person was just meant to teach you a lesson. So spirit is saying to withdraw your energy. Don't take any action toward this person and close out this cycle because you've learned the lessons. And if you were to renew things with them, it will only stress you out. OK, so they're saying to use your intuition and to keep your guard up because this person's very inconsistent. And at the same time, they will only breadcrumb you because they are giving their time and energy to someone else. For some of you, they're even they may even be giving like their money to someone else, giving someone else money. Hmm. Okay, so let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's see what else, um, what other karma is coming toward this person that hurt you, Virgo. Spirit, give me more when it comes to the karma of the person that hurt Virgo. What is the karma? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Page of Wands in reverse, and we have the Two of Cups, okay? So, like I said before, this person's going to get in some type of relationship, okay? And they're going to end up getting with someone that's very childish and it's not going to last. OK, I also feel as though whoever they get with is going to drain them financially. They may be only using them for their money. So someone um, sees your person as they're going to see them as making good money or having good money and they're going to use them for that. I do see your person eventually becoming single from whoever they get into a relationship with and they're going to regret how they treated you, okay? There's something about this other person they get into a connection with that's going to make them view things differently when it comes to you and they're going to want to reconcile and move forward with you, okay? Whoever you are dealing with or whoever your person is, they're also very promiscuous. I feel as though this person indulges with multiple people, not maybe not at the same time, but they've they've had sex with a lot of people. OK, this person is also very controlling. They don't want you going anywhere. OK, this is the type of person that they want things their way. 
Like they want full control of you. They want to be able to control what you do, what, who you see, who you're friends with, who you're talking to. Like they want to always be in the mix of what you have going on. They want full control. But yeah, I see them rushing back in, wanting to work things out with you. Okay, so you can expect to hear from them, especially if you haven't heard from this person in a while. For some of you, if you haven't heard from them, it's because they're trying to figure out the right way to come to you. But Spirit is saying that you do need to focus on you when it comes to dealing with this person because they will only leave you out in the cold. So this person is going to get involved with someone. And like I told you guys before, because remember, the pages also represent children. I told you guys before that I saw for some of you that this person... Um, has dealt with a minor child or they may deal with a minor child and that's just for some of you okay but this represents a child all right so they are either someone that's way too young for them or something of that nature but it's it's not going to work out okay and I also see whoever they get involved with their family is not going to like your person okay so they're not going to be welcomed with open arms within the family of the person that they get into a relationship with. Give me more spirit regarding this um, this two of cups and page of wands in reverse spirit. Thank you. So we have the three of wands. So yeah, whoever they get with, they're going to end up turning their back on your person. Okay. And your person is going to feel like they wasted their time on one of these options. Your person also has the tendency to always be searching for the greener grass. Okay. I do see them reminiscing about you, thinking about you a lot and see it's coming up again about this, um, them being like a pervert or something. Maybe even like, like I said, for a few of you dating or dealing with someone younger than them and they need to be careful with that because there could be a child that comes out of it and that's not for everybody. Oop. Okay. And they may get, end up getting locked up behind it. So if they deal with a minor, they're going to get caught and they're going to do some jail time behind it. Mm. Okay. All right. But yeah, I do see that this person, at some point, they're going to want growth with you again. I see them showing you attention, Virgo. Okay. And they're going to regret all of the things that they did to you. So I see them regretting things. I see them making you another offer to get back together. But Spirit is saying this person is still immature and the relationship wouldn't go anywhere. Okay. All right, so let's get one more card for the karma of this person. Spirit, give me one more card. Why, why is the two of cups here for this person's karma? Thank you. So we have the ten of the ten of cups here, and it came out crossing. So it's not gonna be a happy connection that they get into. They're going to get with someone and they're going to think they're going to have happiness with that person, but they're, they're not. And like I said, whoever they get involved with, their family is not going to like them. Okay. Spirit is also saying that when it comes to this person, you, you know, the truth when it comes to them. So you need to continue to move forward and use good judgment because this person is a disaster. Yeah. But they're going to come, they're going to come back wanting to reconcile with you. Wanting a relationship, they may even offer you marriage. But just remember that they're still being sexual with someone else on the side. I see at least two two different people here that they're being um, sexual with. Okay. So let's get you some advice, Virgo, when it comes to this person. Spirit, give me advice for Virgo when it comes to this person. Give me advice, Spirit. Oh, you have a few that came out, but I'm going to take them all. And you're at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. All right. So we have the world card here. We also have the four of swords. We have the three of pentacles. We have the queen of cups. And we also have the hermit. So Virgo, you came out and you're here twice. So spirit is saying you definitely have all of the knowledge that you need regarding this person. This cycle needs to be closed out. This was just someone that came in to teach you a lesson. You've learned the lesson. So there's no need to continue to give to this connection. Okay. And at the same time, spirit is saying that they've already started dealing with someone else. Okay. Because this isn't you. So at this point, okay. 
spirit is saying you need to have a different perspective when it comes to this person because they're very toxic and they're not someone that's good for you. They will end up burdening you. Okay. Let's get one more message from your angels. Spirit, what, what do the angels want? Oh, wow. You got abundance. So they're saying you have a lot of abundance and opportunity coming toward you. Okay, so those of you that have isolated yourself from this person, if you've left them alone, you're going to have a lot of abundance and opportunities coming in for you. Okay, and it's meant for you to close out this cycle because I told you guys you're going to be doing very good financially, very well financially, and there's going to be a lot of success. But it was meant to close out this cycle because whoever your person is, they're not meant to share this abundance with you. It's not meant for them. So this cycle has to be closed out. But there's a lot of abundance and a lot of opportunities awaiting you. And the next card is take action. Okay. So spirit is saying that you need to do whatever you need to do to get away from this person. If you haven't already. Okay. All right. So Virgo, that is your reading. If you guys like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.